Good evening, not of our time trust. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're back with another YouTube video. And YouTube video, I'm going to add if the DC TV show, DC, as, the, as the fucking title says, Arrowverse being rebooted. Nani? <laughs> Anyways, as you guys know, I love the Arrowverse. The Flash, Supergirl, Arrow. One of my top, <coughs> sorry, one of my top favorites of all time. Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, even DC Legends I enjoyed. So to hear the news that we got at the um, at the end of the run of Superman and Lois, that Superman and Lois is not a part of the Arrowverse, that they are a part of... What is it called? Uh, part of their own universe was kind of a little off-putting for me because I love the dynamic that Cal and Barry and Air and Barry had when they did the crossovers with the <laughs> crossovers with the uh, Nazis and, and one crossover the multiverse uh, the crisis of the multiverse crossover and other crossovers that they did so to hear that we're not going to get the clark that we see in superman and lois and barry to cross over again is kind of sad it, it is sad so um uh, some of the information that I'm going to be spewing into this video today is going to be from the main man himself, the, vi the channel that we usually react to when we watch and talk about new stuff about the Arrowverse, um, The Flash, Superman and Lois, yada, yada, yada. Our main man, Pagey. If you guys haven't checked him out, the, his link to his channel is going to be in the description down below. But yeah, guys, so I have a... So John Diggle, or David... Paletzi, I think, is his name. Dave, his first name is David. But John Diggle, the person, the actor who plays John Diggle in in the Arrow, the Flash that we saw him in, um, also in Superman and Lois now because that's a different John Diggle. Apparently, thank you, CW. I mean, thank you, Warner Brothers. I don't know. I don't know who the hell to thank for that one. AKA, I'm not thanking you. I am. I, doesn't make sense. My mind is very hurt on so trying to think of why you guys did that. <sighs> but anyways, <laughs> um, he was doing a interview at a panel and he was asked a question about, he was, no, he wasn't asked. He was talking about some of the stuff that's going to be happening later on in, or what stuff is going to be going down. And really, let me just read what he says. He's like, you know, these questions were, the questions that you guys asked are about, <clears throat> I can't read as you guys know. So, um, basically he's talking about, it's all, uh, Superman and Lois is basically a reboot of the Arrowverse and, and it's, and it's ways we don't, uh, that we didn't really think about before. And where we revealed that when Todd initially revealed that there was a lot of moans and groans about, oh, we're no longer in the Arrowverse because, as you guys know, next year The Flash ends. Season 9 is The Flash Flash season, which I'm very sad about and I'm very upset about too. But, you know, all good things have to come to an end. Um, but, uh, but I think it was a smart, uh, it was a smart move on, uh, Greg, um, and it was, it's going to be smart to allow us to grow outside of the Arrowverse. So let Superman and Lois be their own entity, which I've always, when I tell people, when, when I tell people to watch Superman and Lois, I tell them not to think about where it takes place in the Arrowverse because as if you guys don't know what happened in season two, you guys should go watch season two of Superman and Lois. If you guys haven't watched it at all, y'all should just go watch it. But season two, 
their world was getting merged with a upside down parallel world. So if that world was being merged, would it bury and them know what was going on? But they did it because they're not on that earth. So um allows us to grow outside of the Arrowverse, which we aren't allowed um which we weren't are not allowed to do. So to answer your questions, is the ring is so around? It exists in Superman and Lois. Hold on. This is I'm reading this too fast and my brain's like, yeah, speed this out. So to answer your question, is the ring is so around? It exists in Superman and Lois. It's been denied the same way it was in the Arrowverse by John Diggle. Didn't go through the same thing. So basically, it's still in Superman and Lois. But it's not in the Arrowverse because that's apparently the last time we're going to see John Diggle. Everything like that. Let me... I'm going to go to the other one. He had another one that was beat up there. Um, so, hopefully we get to explore some of that. But it just depends on CW was bought out. If you guys don't remember, CW was brought out by an outside company. And Warner Brothers was bought out too. So, we're not quite sure what's going to happen politically in the whole landscape. And we're hopefully have some answers soon so there's just a lot of stuff that's going on right now for the actors and the worries about what's going to be happening later on down in the top down in the timeline area which i'm kind of scared too because my like superman lois as we saw already as i was talking to you guys my last, as I said a little bit in my last video, the DCU movies, the DCU, the movies, um, were going through a lot of being canceled. Like Batwoman was fully filmed, everything like that. They had test screenings and everything like that, and they scratched it. They threw it out. There was the other things that was scratched and thrown out. Of movies why so we're I mean right now we're getting the Black Adam movie and we're not sure what's still going on with the Flash I think the Flash movie is still going on um, and I don't think they've done anything with Ezra Miller which I have talked to you guys about in other videos but yeah so I don't know if they're going to reboot the Arrowverse, then they're going to reboot the Arrowverse. But if they're not going to reboot the Arrowverse, then that's... Then just have Superman and Lois be the new Arrowverse and have all of the other superheroes that we're still seeing. Like, I don't know. They're still, they're still even talking about the new Justice U um, TV show where John Diggle is training, like, younger metahumans and stuff like that and doing it going on that way um and making their like own young justice uh stuff and also um that horrible gotham show is still coming out too by the way just like that sorry um so yeah so we're still getting those uh shows i'm not sure how long they're going to be running for depending on how well they do but I don't think rebooting the Arrowverse is a good idea. Definitely right after The Flash ends. Because as soon as The Flash ends, that's the end of the Arrowverse. I think the Arrowverse should just lay down to rest and be done with it. I mean, I hear that they're going to... I think they're... I heard that they're going to be making a crisis... Uh, the Crisis movies and stuff like that. So, like, the Crisis of the Infinite Earths and all that other movies. So, that's still going to be doing a thing with the CW characters, like Melissa, um, Stephen Amell, uh, Grant Gustin, all of them. I That's what I heard. And, which would be dope. Which would be cool. Uh, but, I just, I'm just... 
I'm not worried about the what's going to be coming up with the ending of The Flash. I mean, The Flash has a good running and it will be ending this year. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll, it's going to be um, Superman Lois is going to be the front running focus and they're going to probably add in some other superheroes and stuff like that. Maybe they're even going to add Kara and stuff like that. You know, like, I, I think if I'm doing, if I'm thinking of this correctly in my brain, they are, Kara hasn't, on this earth and in this universe, Kara hasn't got, uh, Kara, Kara hasn't, sh of course, hasn't shown up to the, uh, to earth yet. So, and we know Kara, like, we, ha we don't know that Kara's around, but, like, they have said that they might do something with Kara there with them with them separating Superman and Lois from the Arrowverse. They can do a whole lot more stuff with Superman and everything like that and not worry about the recycled characters that they used for Supergirl because that's the thing. That's the thing that we were worried about because Superman and Lois has their own thing and if they were in the same universe where the fuck is Kara? National City, Alex Danvers, all that stuff. Where are they? We don't know. But now, since they are in a new universe, and in their own universe, it's way better than what's going on right now. So, um, basically, with everything that came out, we didn't get much info on what's going on. But we got some info, if you know what I mean. We got we got some stuff that oh that that the DC that CW and Warner Brothers are bought out, and they're not sure what's going to be happening. But we also got some word that that the shows are still running as they're going, and um, the fact that. This is gonna, I also need to make this in a different video. I'm sorry, I'm just rambling on. And this whole bunch of stuff that's coming to my brain that I haven't been able to record and get out to you guys yet is coming to my brain. So, but yeah, the fact that this is happening and what's going on is happening in this uh, CW and Warner Brothers realm, I think that it's good. I don't think that we need to reboot the Arrowverse but have Superman and Lois be in their own universe. Call it the Superverse or something like that. Like that. I don't know. Because they call it the Arrowverse and the Arrow was the first show of that universe. So do the Superverse and and they already have John Diggle in there. So that could be like the like how they did with The Flash. Like they brought Barry Allen in the the not the that week before the particle accelerator exploded and then they talked about Barry Allen being in the coma for the nine months that he was in the coma for and then boom we got the flash wait him waking up after uh, leading leading up to when he got back from Central City uh sorry from Starling City back to Central City and from there of how he got struck by lightning and got put into the coma so I think that the fact that we got, th we, they did that with the Arrowverse and that's how they brought on, they brought on how they brought it, how they made DC Legends, right? They brought DC Legends, they used the character, the off-brand characters, the superheroes, Firestorm, Sarah Lance, um, the, um, uh, I'm forgetting their names, um, but Leonard Snart and Mick Rory, and put them in the DC Legends and putting them all together so that they can have their own show. Their CW built it up like how the Flash, the Flash movie was supposed to build up the DCU universe, and that's after the Flash movie appeared. That's when um the supergirl movie and the batwoman movie was going to pop up and appear but we're not getting the batman woman movie so yeah 
So, I mean, they already got John Diggle there, and they can probably start working their way on making it into the super universe. I don't know. The the Superman universe. The um, SNL. Sorry. They can't use that because Saturday Night Live. My bad. <laughs> but um, the super universe, something like that, and doing their own thing with that. Um, but, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the reboot if they if they should just if they should leave the Arrowverse alone and call it um call it a new uh call it a different universe um if they should add the D, uh the just uh the young justice tv show that they're making right now that they're filming right now and add the Gotham show that they have that they're still filming right now to it or should they just leave Superman and Lois in their own area and build off the Justice U universe into we already have Titans and Swamp Man on HBO Max. Should they add that stuff to it too? Let me know down in the comment section down below. What do you guys what do you guys think that's going to be happening? And are they going to be doing some other stuff with it? Um do you think it's a great idea that this is that Superman and Lois are going to be in their own universe, or are you still wanting Superman and Lois to be in the Arrowverse? So that way the Arrowverse can live on a little bit longer, you know? But um yeah, so let me guys let me guys let me know down in the comment section down below guys. I uh, love you guys, you guys are amazing, wonderful people. And yeah, 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 yeah. Next video should be a little bit more complex and more easy. By the way, guys, Corntober is right around the corner on Twitch. I think I'm going uh, on Twitch. We are starting our Resident Evil uh, story marathon, leading us up all the way to the good old new DLC that's releasing for Resident Evil 8. So I'm very excited for that. If you guys don't know, if I if you guys don't know about my Twitch stuff. That's going to be also in the link uh, description down below. But yeah, guys, um, love you guys. You guys are amazing, wonderful people. Like if you guys liked today's video. Subscribe if you guys like what I do on this channel. And hit that bell notification up above to get notified every time I upload a video. And yeah, I'm not doing a schedule anymore because I suck at keeping the schedule. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. You guys are amazing, wonderful people. And as always, stay classy, my friends.